This experience is not for everyone. If you suffer from depression or anxiety, seriously, do not play and leave now. This experience will gather some basic local data from your computer. This data is never transmitted. This experience will create files to save its own progress and reinforce the gameplay. Those files are simple texts or image files. If despite all of this, you are still you still desire to play, click continue. So this game is called When the Darkness Comes, and it's supposed to simulate through a bunch of an imaginary d environments what depression or anxiety is like. And that already piqued my interest. I'm always interested in how these things are are shown in video games, and video games have a very good medium for being able to do certain things like this. And I've played a lot of games in the past that emulate things like this. Some of them don't do it well, some of them do it really well. And I've played games- this reminded me a lot of The Beginner's Guide and The Stanley Parable. And The Beginner's Guide is one of my favorite playthroughs that I've ever done. And I like that a lot, so I really wanted to check this one out and see what it was like, so... I'm intrigued more than anything, um, but it has some very good reviews on Steam too, so... When the Darkness Comes, an experience by Sir Hyen? I don't know. Okay, let's get into it. Here I am in my lovely house with my glitchy music. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Um, hello, new player. Welcome to this Hi. experience, and thank you very much for downloading it. Uh, no, that's that's too confident. <laughs> um, hello, thank you very much for downloading this. Uh, oh, and uh, best of luck, I guess. And finally, welcome. Hey, thank you, thank you. I feel very welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. See, this is what I mean. This kind of fourth wall breaking stuff is very Stanley Parable esque. Yep. Yep. That's that's the game. That's the whole thing. Mm. Why are you still here? I have it on good authority that this is not the whole game. This this is this is the game. Yeah. Just get some confetti's particles. Get a text in a room, dark room, dramatic, and that's about it. Just feel free to leave. Um, uh, bye. That, that was fun. Thank you very much for coming. Bye. Okay, so it did say it was going to save some files, so I don't know if it's actually going to save some stuff, and then when I quit out of it and check it, I really should have the folder for the game up on my other monitor. So, you're either very patient, which would be a good thing, or very persistent, which I think would be a good thing too, or very stupid, which is less of a good thing, <laughs> or... You are just plain annoying. Because it's not hard to press Alt F4 and just leave the game, you know? Um, so I'm just trying to think of something that could make you leave. Hmm. Uh, what can I make easily? Or oh, we just stay here for a while Maybe and something actually happens. There. Yeah, just, just right there. Just take that door and you should be able to leave the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's the, the oh, door. Geez. Yeah, that door. Just, just open the door. I once can't. Once it's open, it, it will close again. And oh yeah, god, I can see through it. That's, yeah, you win once you open the door. Uh, yeah, you, you know how to. No, nope, you know what? Again, Screw your rules. I'm going this F, way. And it should open, or maybe it was E. Uh, it depends on the game. I don't remember what it, what I action <laughs> e I said. Um, um, maybe it's just click, or maybe maybe it's a trigger. Maybe maybe you can just. Step, step out, yeah, try stepping out again, of the door, and okay. try, try, try coming again towards the door. Maybe it will open. No? No. No, uh, I'll, I'll try to open it from my end, just, just a sec. I like this kind of stuff. Like I said, it's very meta. It's very fourth wall breaking. Oh, it opened up. That was weird. Okay, exit, here I come! <laughs> um, welcome again! <laughs> There's more cameras and I, I broke it! <laughs> left. Um, didn't you go through the exit portal? Yes! Oh, yes, you did! Um, why are you still here then? Oh, that's so weird! <laughs> um, tell you what, um, I'm gonna have to just make another door behind you. Um, just go through it and it should exit your game. Jesus. Just, just believe me. Here! Enter the door! This one! Can you see it? 
<laughs> also, he's like, it's so you you be so weird right now. This is crazy. All right, I'm going through your door. Don't don't close the game yeah, though. Yeah, that's that's the door. Yeah, just just go through it. I can't. J just wait a sec. I too chunk. Don't <laughs> dare try um, and do that to me. Don't you dare. Yeah, sorry about that too. <laughs> I just just wanted to try that out. I'm sure it didn't for. I've had that happen in recordings before, and I don't um, like it. Now, uh, actually, I'm a bit busy, so I will just ask you not to touch anything and oh. just stay calm, stay here, and I'll be right back. Um. Okay. Well, we all know I'm going to hit the button, so here we go. <laughs> so, of course, you had to press that button. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I think anyone will done same, so I don't blame you. Um, oh, which exit? Well, since you're here now, um, Parkour. maybe you can make yourself useful. So, this is a world I was working on. Uh, as you can see, it's far from over. There's something written there. Um, maybe you can give me your opinion on this part of the world. Part. Uh, this is just factory. Come along, Bort. And, yeah. What do you think about the, the mood and the atmosphere? Pretty good. I like the echo on your voice. I'll give you a few minutes so you can look around, and then uh, I'll spawn a few buttons, and you can give me your most honest feedback. Thank you. Okay. So I'm trying not to get distracted about what this game is actually supposed to be about. There's like a clock ticking in the background. There's a bunch of buttons now. Do you like this environment? I do. Guess. Wait, didn't I say I like the environment? So Did I read that this wrong? This one was made for some kind of underwater level. I never finished it. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty, but... Oh, can I fall off the edge? Yeah, that's about it. What do you think? I like it. It's twinkly. I like the, the depth of field and the blurriness of it. Okay, so now I'm kind of getting it, because... Do you like this environment? So it's all about the creative process, like you create something. And any of you who have created anything, it's one of those things where it's like, yes, yes, I'm creating something, and then it's done, and it's like, I could be better. And then after a while, you're like, I hate it. I don't like it at all anymore. Ouch. Okay. Um. Uh, well. There's a big giant one. nose everywhere. If, if you want. Oh, um, this is sad. So, last one, I guess. Uh, Whoa! I'll try to be honest at least this time. Thank you very much. This one's really cool! But I'm only allowed to select no. Oh, so the last time when I picked yes, it just switched to no. Because you're not allowed like the things that you make. And maybe the clock in the background is like a constantly ticking like deadline over your head. So this is all based on his own, like, mentality and what he thinks about his own work. So, now that we are friends and all, I just want to play a little game with you. See, bunny there's hop? a market in the city. And I need you to go there and buy me a drink. And just try to avoid other people. Okay. Hello, Paul. I'd like to play a game. Do -do -do! Do -do -do! Do -do -do -do! You should go out more often. Everybody does. Or everybody does this. Huh. Just say hi. I can hear them. Oh, and the people out in the street are all faceless. Oh, now we're playing social anxiety. They don't bite. So you can't get too close to other people. You have to stay introverted. Jeez! Calm down! Market is on the left. Go buy stuff. Easy. Oh, right? 
Can you read left, not right? What does it say down here? Am I just gonna get reset? Oof. This isn't the right direction. Um, you shouldn't be here. No. This is cool so far. I like this. I'm like trying to avoid people by doing anything but going the direction I'm supposed to be going. And it feels like everyone is faceless and I don't want to be near them and they're all scary and getting too close is not okay. You You've seen the market, why not go inside? You really are a special kind of person. Got time to waste, uh, it seems. Why do they all try that? But I can't go into the market because the people are going to reset me. Congratulations, you just won the game. Ugh. It says they're all staring at me, leave me alone. Ooh, this is really good. Um, because I'm not, I mean, I've had my times when I've been very sad and probably depressed. Um, and definitely had moments where I've been very, very anxious. Um, I think doing this kind of job, everyone, every now and then, gets very anxious to some degree or another. There's a lot of eyeballs on you all the time at once. 24-7, giving you feedback on what you should be doing, how you should be talking, what you should look like. Things like that. Um, and I've grown to try and overcome those, and I've, I've grown a lot over the years of doing this. And I'm at a point where that kind of stuff doesn't get to me as much as it used to. But there was definitely a time when that stuff got to me, and I don't really have the social anxiety that some- that this person has in the game. But I definitely have had it where I'm like, I don't want to make phone calls. Um, and all the stuff that I've, I've over the years kind of gotten over and gotten better at, and some of it still kind of lingers. But... I'd be interested to see if anybody... Well, it did say if you suffer from these things, do not play this game, but it might be a, a cool... Like, look into what this type of stuff is like. This person is on string like a <laughs> puppet. Finally, <laughs> it was about time. Damn, you took your time. Uh, well, uh, let's just play another little game. Very easy again. Um, I'm just gonna give you a few choices and you just choose whatever you think fits the conversation the best. See? Very easy, right? Okay. What? Oh. How are you doing? I'm fine, doing good, I'm not fine. Ooh, I'm not fine isn't even an option you can pick. I'm doing good. Which is the thing everybody says. Whenever you meet somebody on the street and it's like, Hey, how are you? And you're like, I'm doing good, man. How are you? But more often than not, people aren't actually saying how they feel. They're just saying a response that they know people want to hear. Because it's, how are you? Almost is like, hello at this point. So, I'm doing good. What are you doing here? Wanted to ask you something. Wanted to see you. I want to quit. Everyone asking something. Tell me more. Are you free this weekend? Are you free this Friday? Let me out. Let me in! Let me in! Um, are you free this Friday? Oh, last question. No, I'm not. Sorry. It's okay. Next time, maybe. Let me out. Are they trying to get out of the conversation? Hey, good job, really. Hey, that was some nice conversation you had there. I don't very, think so. Very, Leave me alone. Deep, very meaningful, you know. Lots of meaning in your words. My good choice is overall, really. You choose, I think, you choose the best answers to each question. Good job. Uh, just, just wait Oh, a God. I didn't realize the giant camera's up there. Hello? Okay. Um... That's cool. It takes the name from your PC. So the name of this PC is like Jack's PC, I think. Um, in my Windows settings, so... It just takes your name and puts it up. That's freaky. The game knowing your real name, or real name. Oh shit. Was I supposed to do something with that? Okay, I'm running. I'm running to the spirit ball! Whoa. 
cool. So I guess that's what they mean by they're going to access files on your computer. I like that. I love that kind of shit. It was the same when I was playing like Doki Doki Literature Club. And Undertale has kind of those fourth wall breaking scenarios where it saves stuff on your PC. And then it's like, oh, I remember that you've been here before. I like that stuff. It's very meta. This environment's nice. Um, follow the light. Okay, I don't know if I should follow the light. Oh god, this is why I'm unsure about following the light. It looks like I'm dying. When is the 2001 Space Odyssey tunnel? Do not fall, let the light guide you. Oh god, but it's fucking dark everywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to fall, aren't I? I can't see- I literally can't see anything anymore. I can't even see where I came from. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm just gonna push forward. I have no idea which way I'm facing anymore. And... I fell. Do not fall. Let the light guide you. Okay, but... How? Even when I get up here... Oh, dang. Okay. So I, I kind of got further this time. All right. So when I see the light again, okay, stay on the left. Here we go. We're doing it. Just stay on the edge. This is weird. Let the light guide you home. All right. Don't fall off now. That would be so much wasted effort. Keep going. Oh, this is... Messing with my head though. Do not despair. Oh crap. I can't see anything anymore. There we go. There's the other edge. Oh man, it would suck to fall off now. Do you know what? I'm not gonna. Do not despair. The light will guide you. Follow it through your darkest times. Keep going. Okay, there it is again. I like this. I like the symbolism behind this. Like, even in your darkest times, there's always some sort of glimmer of light that will pull you out of it. That will help you along your way. Sometimes you don't get it on your first try. Sometimes it takes you a couple of times. Sometimes it takes a while. And sometimes you do get it on your first try. But the point is, the light is always there. Believe in the light. Okay. I'm so worried about falling off. Would I have to do this entire thing again if I fell off? But this is weird. You're telling me to follow the light. Oh god. Oh god. But yeah, technically the light is down. The light is on like the edge. I'm following the dark path. Yay, I made it! Just keep following the light. Keep following the light and you'll make your way through it. That's a good message. Oh god. Jesus, that scared me. Faith in the light. Okay. Now we're in the darkness again. And light is only flickering through. So there's faint glimmers of opportunity and freedom and escape. Oh, Jesus! Keep going, never stop. I got an achievement that said keep going. I don't know if you guys can actually see them. But it just says keep going everywhere. It's going to do it again, isn't it? Okay, keep following the light. Oh, I'm so slow. What the 
hell is this? Oh, there's faint faces in the dark! That's creepy! They're like ghosts! I'm sorry, I don't speak parcel tongue. God, that's weird. Follow the light. It's the only message I've been given, and I'm gonna keep going with it. These environments are really cool, though. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. Is there a pathway to you, or do I have to- okay. Somebody in a swing. Let's go into the- Water? Huh. I didn't die immediately there. Okay. What is my pathway to you? Let's keep going. Maybe I can actually go out over the hill and follow the light. Oh, they're gone now. This is getting very creepy. Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh god, I thought the light was getting smaller, but it was just going over the sand dune. That's very bright! That's a bright light! Oh, it looks like a fucking black hole. I know. It's covered in light. How could it look like a black hole? I meant the shape. Because everyone looks at black holes as if they're... You see what? Everyone thinks black holes are actually just like a hole. Like just a disc. Which would make no sense. We live in a 3D space. Or our eyes perceive things 3D anyway. We're three-dimensional beings. Um... So it's like, it's a sphere that's sucking in all the light. This is flame without voice. That's weird. If I try and sprint, sometimes it slows me down even further. Like, this is sprinting. Normally. But then sometimes it slows you down. So maybe it's trying to symbolize that I can't escape. Or it's just making sure that you can actually experience the game. Who is her? Is this like a... Oh god. That's so bizarre. It looks like a pathway. It's like a visual or an optical illusion. It looks like a pathway with two walls. But then you realize that it's actually all the way up and around. So it's like a... Disc? Am I actually getting closer to anything? This is like an existential nightmare. I hear whispers too. They're yours. Hmm. I thought I was getting closer. I think it's just playing tricks on me.
Okay. This is sad. Oh no. It changed. We're actually coming towards the end of something. Oof. This description. Sorry, I broke the rules. It's what I do, I'm a gamer. Oh, the floor is spinning. That was really weird. Oh, God! No, I stop it. <laughs> or maybe the lights are just moving. Okay, I get it now. Oh, that's... That's extremely interesting. <laughs> well, what you know is? What? I'm just gonna let you be. And... Well... Have fun. Actually, let, let me just put you back on your tracks. It's, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. <laughs> okay, I'm back to normality. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. It's a bit weird that I'm going through your environments, though. Like your- your past. Do you like this environment? Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? Follow the light. But there is no light. Can I- oh. Oh! Clever. Whoa. This one's going. Is this ice? Yeah. And the clock is just ticking the entire time. I think I don't think the clock has actually stopped, has it? Oh, piano lady. I'm coming, I'm following the light! It's kind of hard in this environment, because there's a lot of lights everywhere. Oh, Jesus. That scares me every time. Oh, God. There's a clock. Loser. Gross. Gross. Is this supposed to symbolize that they literally don't have time for me? Scary. Oh, you're on your own though. Egoist? Egoist? Oh, now there's- oh god, it's raining clocks. Well, that's one way to make time fly. I can't go, I have to read it backwards. Do you believe Jack is a good person? 
No! He picked no! Oh, yeah, this scene. He picked Maybe on, actually. Before, right? uh, I, I don't want to interrupt, but I just really wonder if you're finally starting to understand. I think so. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, I can go back. Oh. Sometimes ignorance is your best choice. There's literally nothing special about this scene. Why would everything require to have meaning? That's a fair point. Not everything does have to have meaning, I guess. Oh. Wouldn't you agree, Jack? See, it's called Jax. Because, like, it's my computer. But it's calling it- it's calling me Jax. But wouldn't you agree, Jack? Oh, God. That's my desktop. Oh, Jesus! You're not supposed to be here, Jack. No escape. No rest. Why haven't you left yet? Do you hate yourself that much? Leave me alone. What is this you are feeling? Are you beginning to understand? Oh, that's creepy. That was like literally my desktop. Okay, I leave you alone. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think I can. Okay. I can't really see anything. It's so dark. Am I hearing other footsteps? Oh. The computer's still there. Where should I go? Oh, there's a pathway here. Oh, I can go back down. Meaning, 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 meaning. Where there is none. Always poking around, I see, like a child. Wasting precious time, precious life, precious. Leave me alone. Oh, interesting. I need your help. Don't listen to him. Help me. He's everywhere. He sees everything. He won't leave me alone. Jesus. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, this is good. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are we here? Why? What did this level load up after that? That's. So let's collect eight things. We're playing Slenderman all of a sudden. Sewers machine, cantina, dormitory, gym, science class, study hall, pool. Okay. Maybe they'll get crossed off as I do each one. Attention, Jack. We are but dust and shadow. Oh, God. There is no meaning to life. Oh, now it's my quote. I don't like this. <laughs> Okay, this is the... the clock dispenser. I got another one! Can I have more? Can I just keep dispensing clocks? So I don't have to do it like this? 
Yeah, so they're blocked off now. Okay. Well, here's another one over here. And another one down here? Yeah. Wait, this just looks like the place I just was. What the hell is going on? I mean, we're playing memories. What's the point? Oh god, the shadow people! Oh god! Ah! Okay, which one is this one? I have no idea. Oh god. Quit this game. This is a, like a tool that some people do as well, where the, the person who made this game is likely creating a version of their life so they can have some sort of control over it. Um, if any of you have seen the movie Hereditary, or Hereditary if you don't have an Irish accent, the, the lady in that makes like scale models, she makes like little houses and stuff, but she makes stuff in the movie based on some traumas that she's had because some people do this as a way of overcoming the trauma because it gives you some sort of tangible version of it it gives you some sort of something you can hold on to something that you can see and feel and have control over so you have control over the environment of what happened so maybe that's what this person is doing as well of course I'm just speculating based on the information that's been given to me Oh god. Oh, it's upstairs. I was thinking maybe there's an upstairs because I can hear the clock somewhere else. But it's down this end. Wrong room. Can I go up again? Yeah. Nope. Why? I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out why. Maybe this one? Yes. Why do you persist? How? Is this the person's dorm that they went to college in? This is fascinating. Oh, Jesus. Why are you so scared? Because you're a weird, creepy demon person standing in front of me. Okay, four out of eight. Oh god. <laughs> okay, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This seems like the swimming pool. There is no pool. Oh god, did it turn into a maze? Oh Jesus. Oh god, that's horrible. Oh, I get so claustrophobic. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I actually do get claustrophobic, I didn't realize I did. I mean, watching stuff of people in small spaces and everything kind of makes me go like, Oh no, I would not do that. But I remember when we were doing... Scare PewDiePie season 2 and we had some like suits on like some fat suits and we were trying to do like a little obstacle course or whatever and I was I fell over at one point and fell down into like this little pit underneath and you're supposed to pick yourself back up and get up and go back and start it again but I was so exhausted and these suits were so big and so hard to move and everything that I just I couldn't really like move myself over and I started to have like a mild little panic where I thought, wait, what if I never get up again? What if I'm like stuck here? What if nobody actually knows that I'm down and they don't come over to do anything? And I had that like, it was only for like five seconds, but my brain kind of kicked in and was like, nope, this is, this is horrible, get out of this. 
So, I guess I get claustrophobic. Path, religion, psychosis, nightmares, OCD, depression, hate, hope, anxiety, dissociative personality disorder, disorder, parallel universes, improbabilities, love, despair, light, life after death. Is that what you're concerning your time with? And wondering about? Oh wait, no, maybe this is the swimming pool area. Would make sense since there's actual bodies of water in this. I thought the other one was it, but it just didn't have a... Oh god. Oh, I didn't actually mean to fall in! Ah! Oh, I don't like that! Let me out! No, I fell in again! <laughs> I fell into the other one! Don't forget to breathe. Good advice. Oh, Jesus. How did you keep going? Oh, Lord. That's a weird one. Oh, I have to go down and out the other side? Or maybe up and over? Oh no, I can just walk across. Wait, it did say sewers is one of the locations, didn't it? Time ticks away. What motivates you? Oh god, it's looming overhead. How? Where? Why do you do this? You can't escape your life. Nothing has meaning. Stay here. You are nothing. Why do you keep going? Why are you wasting your time? Don't listen to her. This is fucked, man! Oh. Why don't you just breathe? Oh no, I'm in the fucking water. I can't. I can't breathe. Please, not again. Oh, Jesus. You don't like first person platforming. Oh, I almost didn't make that one. Ugh. Shit. Okay, let's just keep. No! It's hard to know, like, where, where I'm at the edge of it, but I need the momentum to get to the next platform. Sometimes I just walk off. Okay. You're doing it! Huh? <laughs> Crap. Oh, I can actually sprint. This is good, though. This is good, like, symbology for this. Damn it. This is trickier than it looks. I could see the edges of- Oh man. I could see the edges of things better if I actually go to like, the very edge of it, but it's kind of by the time you're- You've jumped over it that you actually see it. Okay. Huh! There we go. No! I got so close! Oh. That's much easier. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't mess it up now. Home stretch! Yes! Okay. I always- I hate sections like that in games, because I'm always like, what if I never- what if I just never pass this? What if I'm just stuck here? All the time, forever. Is this a dream? And I guess that's- That's why I said that's exactly the good sort of symbology for that sort of... 
scene. Safe place. Oh, you actually have somewhere nice now. Find the remote. And again, the clock's not ticking overhead, but now we have a visual clock ticking in front of us. Take it easy. There's a remote next to the fridge. Did you grab a snack? Turn me on. No, not like that. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Did a fucking air raid siren find a safe place? From what? What's gonna happen? Catastrophe, death, irrational fear. Is there a nuke going off? You are safe here. Jesus Christ! This seems like a bit too much. Oh my god, it's actually a black hole now. See what I mean? You have the- I mean, if any of you have seen Interstellar, you know as well. They actually, like, developed some new, like, formations. It's the most accurate representation of what a black hole looks like, apparently. Um, the way it- It has an accretion disk that comes out of it. Um... But depending on where you are, I guess, that's- That accretion disk is kind of all around you. Because they're spheres. Face your fears. Okay, into the black hole we go. I love black holes. I love the science and the theories and the notions around them. They're so cool. Why do you run away from your fears? I'm not! I'm facing them! Oh, I can't. Okay, go. Go! Get out of here! Run! Oh, Lord, but you're gonna have to fall into it. That's so freaky. Maybe I can actually make it if I turn and sprint immediately. Go. Go, go, go. You got this. You got this. Bunny hop! Come on! Come on, buddy! Ah! We did it! Running away achievement. I don't think that's an achievement. It's the black stuff at the bottom of the door. Oh, we found you again. Do you remember me? No, I deactivated your movements. Help me. Please answer me. Uh oh. I can't move. I won't let you answer her. Why won't you listen? You are mine. Is this his brain talking to him? His fears and his anxieties? You. You're gonna fall again. Just talk to me. I can't stay here much longer. Indeed, she can't. Please make the right choice. Oh. I can't move still. Ah! So, my theory so far is that, of course, he's been playing like parts of his life. There's a moving light down there. And maybe he had somebody in his life that he loved, but his anxiety and his fears and his doubts and his brain and everything just wouldn't let him appreciate it. Because everybody else is like faceless and bodiless and morphless and they're just like ghosts. But that one character keeps coming back and they don't have a face anymore because maybe he's forgotten it. But they're more real than everybody else that's around. But his fears are taking over and getting the better of him. 
Oh, we're back here. Hey, it kind of looks like my setup. Except I have two monitors, not three. Get it right, game. We're in the Just Monica room. You can't blue screen me again. I ain't falling for that. I didn't fall for the first time either. What is your purpose in life? Creation, fame, money, happiness, knowledge. For me, it's happiness. Because I think... I think for me, if I can... If I can find true happiness in my life, which I feel like I've gotten very damn close to, if you can find that true happiness in your life, then all the other things can fall into place. Because not being happy can hold you back from a lot of other things. Having fame and money sometimes go hand in hand, but that, that doesn't mean you're happy. Having knowledge, creating things, does not always mean you're happy. But being happy can make you appreciate all these other things. And even if you're happy and you don't gain the rest of these, you're still happy. And being happy tends to make you feel more fulfilled. There is no meaning to life. Just like there is no meaning to this game. You are not strong enough. Oh, it's pulling me in. I'm being pulled by the void. Oh, that's freaky! Are we gonna get a welcome again? Mr. Narrator Man, are you here? Oh. Her music. It's guiding you again. It's guiding you to the teardrop egg. Do it. No, don't. You can still change. Jeez. It's a noose and a chair. Nobody will miss you. Please don't do this. Can I actually go back? Oh, I can. Wait, could you actually interact with that and end the game? I'm glad. You are now free to leave the game. This was not meant to be played. And yet you played it. The meaning of this game is yours to decide. Not everything has a meaning. But what's beautiful about life is that we can choose its meaning. No matter our fears or obstacles, we can choose. And we can change. I hope this experience opened doors for you. Thanks for playing. That's nice. Is that it? I like that message. Thanks to the testers. Why not relaunch the experience? Maybe there's more to this. Oh, there's the clock. And the music is playing again. Or you can quit the game. Oh wait, I'm there! Is this like all the people who've played the game? I highly doubt it. Maybe it just puts you in there anyway. Is this a dream? 
I like this a lot. That was really cool. There's a lot to dissect in that. A lot of it is very surface level. Um, like clearly it's like his anxieties and his depressions and stuff. Talking to them. Looming overhead, ticking in the background, always feeling like time is running out or you don't have time or you don't want to talk to people. Like, all that stuff is very, very good. I like the way that that is portrayed. Um, some of it got very, very heavy and very deep. And I like that the meaning behind this is like, there is no meaning behind this. But maybe having no meaning is the meaning. Uh, what I mean is that they likely were sad and depressed and anxious and they needed an outlet for creativity. I think everyone needs an outlet for creativity. I think everybody should create something. Whether it's just sentences a day, whether you're creating art, if you're working on a game, if you're making music. It, you don't need to change the world with it. All you need to do is change your own world with it. If you're able to create something every day, every week, every month, as long as you're creating something, it's... Creation is good for your brain. Humans want to create. Humans want to feel involved. They want to do things with their hands. They want to be artistic. They want to express themselves. There's, there's so much going on in here that you can't possibly just get it all out at once. Or even ever. So it's good to be able to create things. Creating videos and creating YouTube stuff and everything. And creating communities and creating dialogue and thoughts and... What, what have you has always been my outlet. Just creating these videos has always been my outlet. It's been my way of like doing something with my time. Um, I think that's why humans are so like drawn to work and drawing, drawn to hobbies and everything. Because they just feel like they... We're creatures of habit. We want to do something with ourselves. We want to find meaning in our lives. And that's the big question, is everyone's always like, what is the meaning of life? And to me, my belief system is that there technically is no meaning to life. Is that we are here and we are experiencing it and that's it. But what's beautiful about that is that, like they said here, is that you create your meaning. You shouldn't go through life waiting for life to suddenly make sense and create the meaning for you. You should create the meaning you want for yourself in your life. Create the experiences for yourself. Don't wait for life to happen for you. Create what you want out of life. It's very difficult to do for a lot of people. Um, and the people who have found it. I feel like I found that aspect of my life now. I found the thing that I feel like I'm good at. That I want to do. That fulfills me. That helps me create and do what I want to do. Um, and I'm very fortunate in that regard. But what I do is not the same as what everybody else wants to do. And it's easy to look at somebody like me and then think like, Oh, that... That happened for him. I can't wait for that to happen for me. But if you're not actively trying and working your ass off to find what it is that you want in your life, to make that meaning for yourself, then it might never happen. This type of stuff that I do now seems easy, and doing it now and everything has become a lot easier than it once was, but it was a pain in the ass when I started off. And trying to find what I wanted to do in my life was a very tricky path to, to go down. And it took me a very long time to figure out what that was. And I didn't know it was YouTube. I just tr threw myself into things. I threw myself into music at one point. I threw myself into games. I thought I was going to make games. I thought I was going to be a drummer in a big band that would tour the world. And I, at the time, I didn't even know that this thing existed. And then I went and I pursued it and I worked my ass off it. And with a bit of luck and a lot of hard work, like a lot of hard work. It doesn't seem like it because that's the point. I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make the struggle not be apparent. I'm just trying to create and entertain. So in that regard, it's easy to look at people who have made it and think that things just fell into their lap, which they haven't. You really need to work at what you want and you need to go for it. And it takes a lot of effort and a lot of struggle, but it's so worth it in the end. And it'll make you feel so fulfilled. Um, and I like the topics talking about like, a lot of stuff was getting to this person. It was coming down on top of them. They didn't know which was the right way to go. They didn't know if what they were doing was right. Going the right path. Like, is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Not every path is going to lead you on the exact path that you should be on towards the, towards your dream goal. But that doesn't matter. You're walking the path. You are here. You are existing. You're struggling. You're fighting. And you're pushing forward and you're not giving up. And I like that, that at the end, it showed you the noose and it showed you the phone. And you had that choice. And and choosing the help. Choosing... It's it's almost like a direct, like, 
helpline if you need somebody to talk to. There's many helplines out there for you to be able to talk to if you're feeling in that sort of scenario where it's either life and death. And I absolutely hope that any of you who are ever in that situation, ever, always choose the help option, always choose the life option, and always know that there's going to be somebody there that will talk to you. Because there is. Life is a struggle for a lot of people. It's very hard to find the meaning of it. It's very hard to find what you're supposed to be doing. And a lot of times it might be... You might think to yourself, is it worth going on? And I can absolutely assure you that it is. Life, life can be so magical. It can be so wonderful. If you find true happiness in your life, if you find something that really fulfills you, it's so worth it. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And experiences like this, while I might, might not have gotten to the darkest depths that the person who made this game did, I, it definitely reaffirms that I am appreciative of everything that's in my life. And that whenever I want to complain about something or ever, anytime something gets to me, I'm like, you know what? Life is pretty fucking damn good and I should really appreciate it for what it is. And I am doing that more and more. Now that I'm at the age that I am at, I've, I've finally like learned what it is to just be happy with myself, with life, with stuff outside of my YouTube channel. Because even though this was my outlet to create, and I was definitely very lonely when I started it off, and I really felt the pull of the audience because I, I was trying to give people what I didn't have for myself. I was trying to give you all happiness when I didn't have it. And then when it finally started coming back to me, I felt like I didn't deserve it. So, it takes a lot of time to understand that. And now I'm at a point where I'm really just enjoying my life. I'm enjoying myself outside of my YouTube channel. I love my YouTube channel. I love this community. I love everybody here and doing stuff all together and just playing games or doing the charity streams or live streaming together. Anything at all. It's just so much fun to do. But I'm also fulfilled more in my personal life now than I've ever been in my life. And that is what was key to me. And that's what I was missing for so long was that I didn't realize that I was pouring my soul into this YouTube thing and didn't realize that that was what was slowly destroying me at the same time. It helped me feel good, but it was all I had. And it's good to find something that's a goal and a dream that motivates you, but don't let that be the be-all and end-all. Don't let your work be the only thing that defines you. Don't work yourself to the bone where you're going to be burnt out because then you'll end up hating your work. And if that's the only thing you have, where do you have left to go? So... Life, life to me is all about balance. Finding stuff that makes you happy and just doing what makes you happy. It's not always that simple, but for me, that's kind of been the mantra that I've been working with. And that's where the positive mental attitude has come from. Positive mental attitude is not about being happy all the time. That's bullshit. Nobody can be happy all the time. That's a stupid thing to want to... Well, it's not a stupid thing to want to believe in. But it's stupid to expect... Stupid's not the right word. That sounds a bit too harsh. It's... It's silly to expect yourself to be able to be happy all the time. I'm not happy all the time. A couple of days ago, I was in a mood. I didn't want to work on anything. I didn't want to do anything. I got pissy at things that shouldn't have been upsetting me. But the point is, the positive mental attitude is working your way back to that. Working your way back to that positive attitude that you know that you can excel at. And that's what it's always been for me. So I don't want anyone ever to go out there and think that I'm just spreading PMA and that's like, oh, be happy. Because that's not the way it is. And I've never said that I'm happy all the time. I know I, I put on a show here. I, I entertain. I make these videos for you to try and make you feel a bit better about yourself and just be happy. Um, but every now and then I will get real with things. Like here where I'll admit that things aren't always perfect. And they never can be because perfection is an illusion. It doesn't exist. But you can definitely keep working towards a better version of yourself and better life and just trying to find that pure happiness. Because if you find that, if you start loving yourself and you find that happiness, then everything outside of that is so much easier. Um, so keep up that fight, keep up that struggle and keep going because it, it does exist for everybody. It's just harder to find for some. And that's what I was saying with this game that maybe they just created a bunch of environments because creating games and environments was their hobby to distract themselves from the world. So then they put all of these environments together and made a game out of it. As you can see through the screenshots here, maybe they just made character models, they made environments, they made cool effects. And then suddenly that was their outlet to show what they were creating and how they dealt with what they were going through. 
So, creator of the game, if you're out there and you're listening and you created this game for people like that, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing much better because you created something wonderful and I hope that you know that and I hope that you're proud of what you created and you're able to accept pride in your own work. You're able to accept love within yourself. Um, because there's a very fine line between boasting about yourself and thinking that you're amazing or just being proud of the things that you create. There's no problem in being proud in what you create and knowing that it's good. It's when you think that you're better than everybody else for doing that, then it becomes a problem. So, take pride in what you're doing. Be happy with yourself. Appreciate the things about yourself. Nobody, nobody's perfect and nobody's, nobody, nobody knows what's right. Nobody's on the right path. Nobody has it fi all figured out. So just figure out what you need to do for yourself first, and then work from there. Um, but I'm going to leave this video here. I hope that some of you got something out of this. I definitely appreciated playing this and I got something out of it, so... It's meant a lot to me. And these types of playthroughs and these types of games mean a lot to me because it's a moment to break away from the norm and just sit and be real and experience this stuff together and... Through all the editing and the shouting and the swearing and everything, it's just... Nice to sit back and experience something now and then. So thank you. <laughs>